good day, Lion Hearts. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion. We are entering Harlem, Georgia, and today we are going to adventure through the Laurel and Hardy Museum. Days with Jordan the Lion, it begins now. Welcome to Harlem. And the reason the museum exists out here is because Oliver Hardy was born out here and not born Oliver Hardy. We're here. Right here in the Columbia Theater is the Laurel and Hardy Museum and the Harlem Welcome Center. That water tower. Now, like I said, he wasn't born Oliver Norvell Hardy. He was actually born Norvell Hardy, and that's what he was known as in this town. Oh, if you peer in the side of the glass, you notice it's both of them in there. Nice. They have a little fun photo opportunity here from Perfect Day, which I vlogged in Los Angeles. We went to the house that is still standing where they, uh, where they filmed that. That's great. You can put your little head right there. <laughs> Can't wait to check this place out. All right, so they said the whole left side is all Laurel and Hardy. Of course, festival. Look kind of strange if I put my head in there by myself, right? <laughs> Doesn't mean I won't do it. All right, oh, this is wonderful. Take a look at that. First off, I've never seen this Prospector pinball machine that is actually Laurel and Hardy. One of the funniest, I mean that was, I just, I grew up loving Laurel and Hardy and the Three Stooges. Loved them both. Don't feed the monkey. And look at that, lampshade. Up there in that picture, you see the Sons of the Desert. That's what their fan club is called now. You know, together these two were absolutely brilliant, but as far as the writing went, it really was mostly Stanley's ideas that they would do. Originally, they were with Hal Roach, and Hal Roach was the one that paired them up together and really made him a success, but Stanley had a lot of the ideas, and Hal was really trying to kind of milk them. Um, you know, basically he would have their contracts end at different times so that he could have them over a barrel. And finally, at one point, Stanley just, he wanted what he wanted. He wanted more money and he wanted more of the creative freedom and everything. So he decided to hold out on his contract because uh, Oliver wouldn't and Oliver had signed his contract. So they eventually did get to work together again. They, during that time, they paired Oliver up with someone else, but they got back together. You knew I'd do it at some point. That's great. Check that out. <laughs> Isn't that always the way it went for them? Oliver in the scariest predicament. Here they have a photo of, uh, it says three of the all-time comedy teams taken together right here. You had Lum and Abner, Amos and Andy, and Laurel and Hardy right there on the end. And the merchandising for Laurel and Hardy was just amazing. There were all kinds of figures and things you could buy. Look, that's a music bank. And right there, they have a couple of ceramic figures of the guys when they were pretending to be women. And then messing with the police officer. So great. Of course, they made movies with Thelma Todd. What a team. Isn't that great? Look at that. It's a wood carving and it's big too. I mean, if you just look at my hand even close to it, that tells you how big that thing is. They're using that to get you to come out to Augusta. That scene of Stan and Ollie on the golf links. Ollie's the T. <laughs> or I mean Stanley's the T. Look at that, isn't that great? 
That thing is huge. From a fine mess. That's uh that's life size. The stairs, the Will and Hardy stairs, that's a great one. Stairs are still there in Los Angeles. Here we've got a great picture of the two and a piece of hotel stationery signed by the two of them together. It'd be a nice memento to have as a fan. Like I said, lots and lots of things to buy, merchandising back then. They got themselves into so many hairy messes, they created all kinds of scenarios to create things like this from. That is a really big figure back there, but that's a great one. Big ceramic porcelain deal. And same here. And another one of those little banks. Here they have some marionettes in there, which I, my grandparents actually got us an Oliver Hardy marionette, my sister and I both when we were kids. Oliver Hardy was born Norvell Hardy here in Harlem, Georgia on January 18th. His father, Oliver Hardy, married his mother, Emily Norvell, in 1890. This was his father's third marriage and his mother's second. All of the former spouses predeceased his parents. Norvell was youngest of five children. Norvell's father died when he was 10 months old, his mother moved the family to Madison within the year. As you can see, they just have a gigantic wall full of great pictures and memorabilia. All kinds of stuff here for this theater. You can see some of the film reels in there from Blackhawk Films. It looks like a hand-drawn shirt down there and a really great drawing. Look at these wood pieces. Somebody made. There's a carnival mirror. And look at that clock. And right there they have an Oliver Hardy mask that you can poke the eyes out and have your own eyes in there. And another marionette. And look, there's a drawing of various different points in their career. It's crazy to think that I've actually been to the location of some of these. That's cool, that coffee mug for Ollie's Food and Spirits. And then showing in pop culture, Garfield and Odie is Laurel and Hardy. So much stuff made out of their faces, their likenesses. They made a really great Laurel and Hardy movie not too long ago. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's called Stan and Ollie. I really enjoyed it. Here we have a sign check by Stan Laurel when he lived on Bedford. He had quite a lot of addresses, actually. There's his signature down there. And look, they're out on date night with a girl in each car watching themselves on the screen. That's great. And look in this glass case, they have some really cool bookends. I've seen those sold in antique stores and they are not cheap. I've seen them for $300 a pair. Now since this was an old cinema, it makes sense that they would have a cinema right in there showing shorts from their career. I'll check this out. Harlem became the birthplace of the rotund member of Hollywood's greatest comedy teams when Oliver Hardy was born January 18, 1892. After his father died and was buried in the Harlem Cemetery, the year of Oliver's birth, Mrs. Hardy took the family to Milledgeville, where she became the manager of the Baldwin Hotel. Young Oliver was enthralled by the visiting troupe of performers who stayed there. Later, as manager of the town's first movie theater, Hardy performed regularly. After attending Georgia Military Academy, the Atlanta Conservatory of Music, and for a short time, the University of Georgia, Hardy left Georgia 
1913 for the newly established film colony in Jacksonville, Florida. After working at various studios on the East Coast, he left for Hollywood in 1918. Babe, as Hardy became known to his friends, worked for several years as a supporting actor till he was accidentally teamed with a young Englishman named Stan Laurel. Laurel and Hardy remained partners and friends until Hardy's death in Hollywood in 1957. And upon Oliver's death, not only was that the end of the comedy group, but Stanley refused to do anything after that. He never performed as a uh, sign of respect to Ollie. This place is absolutely great. They've done a great job on this museum. I can fight those fluorescent lights. <laughs> pictures of his parents. Here's a childhood photo of Ollie, or Babe. And here's a young Stanley right there. And this shows photos of both of their graves. I've vlogged both of them numerous times. Stanley is in the Forest Lawn, Hollywood Hills, and Oliver is in Valhalla in North Hollywood. Oh, that table's great. I love it. Oh, and check out that drawing of Stan. And this drawing, that's a great one too. And this is a wood 3D carving painting. And a Laurel and Hardy puzzle. And then look at these hand puppets. Sons of the Desert hand puppets. Somebody made a Laurel and Hardy gourd carving. That's crazy. And some really cool needlepoint. This one and that one. That one's really great too. Here we have an afghan someone made. A pillow that someone made. Another gourd. <laughs> That's really great. Another needle point. A pretty cool drawing back there. And crocheted doll of Stanley. Here you can see some mail that people have received from Stan Laurel. If you look right up there in the corner, it's kind of covered, but you can see where it says Laurel. Right up there. He loved stationery. Loved it. I mean, the later years of his life, he would go to like the stationery store every day. He just loved buying pens and stationery and writing letters and answering mail. You could actually like find his phone number in the phone book at one time and people would call him and talk to him on the phone, go out and visit him. He was in Santa Monica. He was very accessible and friendly. How cool would that have been to go visit Stan Laurel? <sighs> That's where he lived, the Oceana. I love the pit helmet. <laughs> That's great. I've said it once, I'll say it again. This place is really well done. Very, very, very well done and well kept. And that photo is kind of sad to me because that's one of the last photos that they took together, if not the last. And you can see Ollie was extremely sick with cancer and lost a lot of weight, like 100 pounds. So let's go in and I'll show you. They're showing a couple of shorts in there and they have a little biopic they show. 
And here on the theater doors, look, it says Babes. And it's got his face on there. Babes Bijou. They made appearances with the Little Rascals. Later, Anchorman film was developed and Laurel began acting in front of the camera again. Alright my friends, I think uh, I think we've seen everything you can see here in this museum. This was so worth a stop and it's free, donations only. And remember kids, no smoking. Don't forget to check this place out when you come through Harlem, Georgia. All right, so I helped support the place. I bought a handful of postcards and they told me there's one other thing that I should check out in town. Let's go see a mural of Laurel and Hardy. And yes, they were totally right. This is totally worth coming to see. Right here at the train track crossing, you've got a fantastic, absolutely fantastic mural. And you can see the water tower with Ollie's face on there. Look at that. And then up there, it says, Oliver Hardy, born in Harlem. All right, my friends, we're gonna call it a day. I hope you all enjoyed our visit to Harlem, Georgia and paying a little bit of respect to the career and the life of Oliver Hardy from Laurel and Hardy. Have a great night everyone. We'll see you all next time. Thank you for watching and supporting this channel. We'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Do 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 do